appreciate being born again. And uh, and I hope that the Lord would uh, help us with the scriptures tonight. Uh, I appreciate Brother Lawson. Uh, let me uh, give me an opportunity here. Appreciate the Lord giving me the opportunity. And uh, hopefully we can give out the word of God. And uh, the word of God is life. And we need life today. If there was a time that we need life is right now. Because it's soon passing away. Not only the physical, but the spiritual. We're leaving. We're, le we're leaving out of here. Could be any minute for the rapture. I hope, you're, I hope you folks are ready. I hope you've been born again. Today is the day of salvation. Now is the accepted time. Don't put it off. Don't wait till you're an old man to get saved. It's now. I see there's some here. We, we're in the, we're in the uh, autumn of our life. You know, there's not a lot of time. It's but a vapor. The Bible says it's but a vapor. And uh, it's but a shadow. It's described many things that life is. But it soon passes away. And so we better have Jesus in us. It's Christ in us, the hope of glory, the Bible says. And uh, I, uh, I would ask you all to uh, meet me in, uh, in, book, uh, in the book of uh, Jude. If you would, you'd turn to the book of Jude. And, uh, and I'm going to read a, a, few, a little a scripture here. Before we get started, I'd like to read an, another. The Lord spoke to me about uh, several scriptures, <laughs> actually. I've known two or three days, and uh, I got loaded down. And I've got another scripture that's even in our, uh, our church bulletin. I'd like to read it and give a statement and a thought about what I think about it. If you'll just hold on to what you're there, if you get to the Jude, and I'll be there in just a minute. Let me read this and give ears to what I say here. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16, Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not. We will not walk therein. And that's kind of the situation that we're in today, that we live. As you look around uh, down the street or down to the next church, we're in a, a progressive church society now, and everybody's in a different kind of church. They don't want the truth. And uh, the truth, I don't know if the truth hurts them so bad they can't hack it. I don't know what it is. But that's the only thing that's going to help you today is the truth. And it, it, the, the verse up above, it says, were they, were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not at all ashamed. Neither could they blush. Therefore they shall fall among them that fall. At the time that I visit them, they shall be cast down saith the Lord. Now I'm back over here in, in, the, in the book of Jude. I'm going to start reading. In verse 3, first I'd like to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, uh, thank you, Lord, for the opportunity you've given me to be here this day. Thank you, Lord, for the scripture that we'll be able to hear. I pray, Lord, you'd give me boldness to say that if you'd put some words in the way that uh, you would want the people to hear, I pray, Lord, that you'd use me, Lord. I'm willing to say what you would want be said. Uh, we, I know we need you. We're nothing without you, Lord. There's no salvation without you, and there's no life without you. And I pray, Lord, that you'd be with what we say today. May you bless it, Lord. May you bless all those that came here. May I be a blessing to you, but may the word be a blessing to them. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And I'm in verse 3. Uh, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to you, uh, diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt afterward, destroyed them that believed not. So you can be seated. 
and I'll read some more for to tell you in just a minute. The Bible says, There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. And I, I'd like to... Uh, uh, I'd like to tell you that uh, a lot of people are dying without God. They've got religion. They've been, they maybe have been people in church all their life, but they never did receive the Lord Jesus because they never, uh, the Spirit is what saves people, and they, they throw the Spirit out the window. And, and that God loves everybody. The Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Another, another uh, thing that we don't come up with either. Okay, so uh, in verse 3 there, you have, a con you have a sincere concern. And that's what we need, a concern. Some people have a lackadaisical attitude about the truth and about Jesus. And everybody's got Jesus. And everybody's going to heaven. That's what they think. People, we sing a song in here, when we all get to heaven. Well, I sing, if we all get to heaven. So I put if in the top front of it. Because we all ain't going. The Bible says there's few that find it. They're, they're searching. They, they, they want the truth. And we're here to give it to them. You can talk to your family. That's what I'm here for, is to give you the word. Because the word's powerful. He was the Word. Jesus is the Word. He said, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld him as the glory is of the only begotten of the Father, Father, full of grace and truth. The Bible says the law came by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. It's all Jesus. It's all Jesus. In verse 6, we're going on now. So it's a sincere concern in verse 3. And then the sobering thoughts of the corruptness in the rest of it here in verse 4. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Ungodly men turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. I will therefore put you in remembrance though you once knew this how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. So we have some people that have crept in unawares. The people that just came in, they, they fit in with the church. They become the church. They joined the church. Maybe not, well, hadn't been here too long. Maybe he had never been in church. But they got in church. And sometimes we, uh, the, the church has let people in that, uh, that changes things. Un unintentionally like uh, I tell you some things uh, one thing that I think we do sometimes since I go here is applaud singing I think that's got you uh, 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 praising the Lord through your singing I don't think it's applause where it's necessary I'll, I'll be truthful with you you know what I mean yeah. do you see what I mean <laughs> I mean I mean, it's good. We got some good, enter not entertainers, but good people, good singers in this place. But, but applause we don't need. We need Jesus. He's the one to applaud. And, and, we don't, and that's who we need to look to. He, he's, what's, he's what we're, we, our focus should be on, is that. And, and people drinking drinks and, and, uh, and, uh, in the house of God. I mean, what, what do we, we can't let this be a... Uh, God is not pleased with us making this an entertainment center. And I'm just, if, if you're involved in that, I don't mind telling you, and I don't bother me to tell you. I mean, God shouldn't let you be doing it. I mean, if you honor God, if you'll honor God, he'll honor you. But you ain't going to honor God if you come out here, do what the, the, you've done outside. I'm, a, I'm sorry. But I'm just afraid that you, uh, we're doing some things that we shouldn't be doing. Because... Some crept in unawares. And there's sometimes it may be the people don't even come anyhow. They're not interested. I'll read on. And the angels kept not their first estate. 
and we're into consider the direction of, of how they how we've been scattered, and even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. And here's a satanic influence of what's left. To execute judgment, in verse 15, to execute judgment upon all, to convince all that are ungodly, among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have spoken against them. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lust, and their mouth speaketh great swelling words, having men's persons in advantage because of advantage. We have a lot of them that's come through here too that can, that can tell things that's not scriptural. They're uh, entertainers, maybe. Maybe they're uh, orators, maybe they're speakers. Uh, trained men. But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles, our Lord Jesus Christ. How that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lust. These be they who, these be they who separate themselves, sensual, having not the spirit. So some do not have the spirit. The Bible says if you have not the spirit, you're none of his. So have you got the Spirit? Have you ever uh, checked it and seen if you had the Spirit or not? You know, the Bible asks us to, uh, to tell tells you to examine yourself. Over there in Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5 says that. He said, examine yourselves. You know, sometimes, you know, the doctor tells you to examine yourselves if you got cancer. Have you ever examined yourself? Are you a sinner? Are you a sinner? Is, is your sin under the blood? Have you ever asked God to forgive you? Hey, do you believe in repentance? That's another thing we don't re, uh, believe sometimes. We need to uh, repent. I need to repent. Everybody needs to repent every day. The Bible says yeah. deny, uh, take up the, deny yourself, take up the cross, and follow me. That's three things. If we could get those three things down, we, we, we'd be on it. <laughs> God would be tickled with us. Deny ourselves, take up the cross, and follow me. That's what he wants. That's what God wants. And he'll honor you because you do that. And wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. That's the only place I've ever seen, Lord Almighty. Lord Almighty. That's um, And come out from among them. Boy, that's, a, that's really saying something. Yeah. <clears throat> Me and my wife talk about this sometimes. There's some people, there's two kinds of Christians. There's, there's the dormant Christian and there's the dominant Christian. They're a dormant, uh, dormant Christian. They, that dormant Christian, they don't care. They don't, whatever flies by, they're for it. Yeah. They're one of the pigs that goes into the river. This, we'll keep up with them, that's all they say. You know, as long as we can keep up with them. They're dormant. They don't say nothing. They go with the flow. They don't uh, change. Try to change nothing. Uh, they don't. Nobody asks them nothing, so they don't do nothing. Yeah. And then there's some that's dominating. They want to be. And then there's others that are uh, uh, diatrophies. He likes to have the preeminence. He likes to. He likes to be the big guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He likes it. He wants a TV show. Diatrophies. Wow. Diatrophies did. Yeah. He wanted. Uh, be the big man, you know. He he wanted he wanted one of them jet planes. <laughs> it's a sad situation we're in, friends. It's a, it's not a pretty picture, but God still loves us. You know, uh, the Bible says to let the redeemed of the Lord say so. You know, I think so, if if you got Jesus, you ought to say something sometime. I mean, you know, if you say if God's inside of you, you ought to be able to say something about Him. Say something about Him, or say praise God, Hallelujah, yeah. and, instead of popping gum and. Uh, singing a song and wanting some more uh, uh, radio time. <clears throat> I'm just saying we're, we're just uh, 
I'm just being honest. I, I talked to my wife. She says, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just being honest. She says, yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> Set me up. But I can't help it. I'm the only one I can preach to. That hurts half me. <laughs> well, sir. Uh, Titus, let's see. It, uh, Titus 1.16 says, They profess that they know God, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient to the very work reprobate. And you see reprobate in the first chapter of uh, Romans chapter 1. They did not like to retain God in their knowledge. And, and next thing you know, women want to be a woman. They're marrying women. Women marrying women and men weren't marrying men. And they want to turn, it, turn over. Transgender. I don't know how we got this far so quick, but it's we got big closets apparently. I don't understand it. The Bible says, "For it is God which worketh in us to will and to do of His good pleasure." You know, God wants us to do, to do stuff, and, and it's His good pleasure that He wants you to do this. I tell you, um, in Psalms eighty-two verse five says, uh, "They know not, neither will they understand." I've lost my place. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. And all the foundation, here's a good uh, clue, it could be wrong. All the foundations of the earth are out, are out of course. You know, the birds have fallen out of the air in some places in different parts of the world. And fish sweeping up on the bank, banks. Don't you think maybe our, wor our world, God's trying to show us and tell us something? Weather's bad, weather's different, all the place. And the Bible says, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Ain't that the truth? And that's what the devil's wanting to do. And, and so uh, Jesus, he says, be sober, be vigilant, for your adversary of the devil is a roaring lion. Yes. Walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. He's and he's walking about. Over in Job, he was going to and fro on the earth. So he gets around. That rascal gets around. But thank God he can't be everywhere. God's everywhere. Amen. And he's in us. And we're going to be the ones that try to defeat him. So we're going to have to step up our, our uh, plan and start praying more and doing more because we got, we got the adversary. Uh, he's, he's in the church. I mean, in the, and not only in this church. He's in the, the bigger churches. Wrong. I mean, and, and they're being taught different uh, doctrines than we are. And they don't really have the spirit. They have a different Jesus than we do. There's plenty of Jesuses out there. And uh, Jesus wants you to try to uh, to be what you want, be what you want for Him. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor in, is not in vain in the Lord. Isaiah said, all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. And in uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 5.21 says, for he hath made him to be sin for us. I, I think that's a wonderful verse. That, that, just, that hit me. For we, he hath made him to see, be sin for us. Who knew no sin? That we could be made the righteousness of God in Him, and and that's where I that's where I come in. I love it. I love it. He took my place. Uh, the Bible says, "A hearing is love, not that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins." I love Him tonight. And I hope you love Him. Help us to to do what we can for Him. I'll give you four things when you come to a dead end, what you can do right quick. <clears throat> the first thing is don't be afraid. Uh, for, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And that's, that's something to have. You have unction and power of the Holy Ghost, don't you? We need to pray that so you can be a bill be a witness. We can witness our family and wherever we're at. We can be a witness, and we have the power of the Holy Ghost on us. That way, 
we won't just be speaking words. We'll have the Holy Ghost speaking it with us. And he'll, whoosh, it cuts sharper than any two-edged sword. It does it because it's God's on it. That's what does it. It's not us doing it. It's the God in us. It's good stuff. <laughs> you can, don't be afraid in other to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you this day. As Moses was, was going over the, to, at the Red Sea. Be still and know that I am God. And uh, we're not too still when we're, when we're trying to live. <laughs> we're, we are always trying to, we're busy manipulating everything going by. And we're always going here, we're going there. We're conniving, trying to find an easy way to do this and that. And we're not standing still until you get hemmed up when, you, when you're in a corner. You know, that's the way God does and he do, he does that so that uh, you can see through. So you, he'll, you can uh, he, you can't run no more. You have to go to God, and that's what He wants to do. He wants us to, and then we can see His great salvation. He wants us to see through the eye of faith. You can see your way, but His way. When we can't see a way out, it's not your way, but we can't see His way out. We can see our way out, but we can't see His way out. His ways are past finding out, the Bible says. And then we can follow him in faith. The Bible says to trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding. And he says, in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. And we'll read one more scripture for you. Hang on. I hope you're hearing as fast as I'm trying to get through this. <laughs> My nerves are shot. I love it though. It's it's my life. I never had life till I got till I got born again. Amen. I'll just be honest with you. That's right. I, I, I didn't I didn't I didn't fall in love with my wife till I got saved. I was an old man when I got saved. In '91, I got a new car. I quit smoking. That's a miracle right there. <laughs> I bought a car with the smokers, with my smoke money. <laughs> oh, I love it. Jesus is so good to me. I ain't got no, I've got some, I have no sad stories other than getting, uh, I went to, a, when I was little, I, I know you don't see me as little, but when I was a kid, we went to a baptizing. They used to have a baptizing down at the creek, Man. down there at Third Creek, because nobody had, a, they didn't have a baptism. No. So I got to, crawled under the barbed wire fence and got down there and got on a yellow jacket's nest. Now, I remember that baptism real good. Because I, I got stung all over the place. The old woman, she jerked me up there and got that, got me some of that Garrett sweet snuff and dabbed it off. Man, I remembered it. <laughs> it was a good baptism. They probably thought I was in the spirit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just something I can remember. But I want to read you some more uh, scripture here while I'm here. This might be my last time to preach or get up here. I love it. That shook me up. I see a fellow, uh, the Lord took him right here. Not in this particular church, but I was at a church at a revival meeting. And he went back here, but he just fell back there. He was gone. I mean, you don't know. It's a point that a man wants to die, or a man wants to die. And after this, the judgment. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to do about the judgment? Are you ready for that? It's going to happen any minute. And the rapture's going to happen in a minute. Everything's in a twinkling of an eye. It's going to be quick. Peter, and Peter says uh, the elements are going to burn with fervent heat. That's hot Indeed. when we come back. But we'll be back by then. We won't be here then. I'm working on this here, folks. I've had it, and I just lost my place. Hang on a minute. I'm sorry. I'm going to read here in John 3, verse 18. Listen real close. And when I, this last verse, I'll stop right there. And I want to thank you people for listening to me. I, I'm not no screamer because I don't get, I, ain't, I hadn't had much training in hollering and going on to, except at home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't speak in tongues or nothing. I ain't got any, you know, 
I just got the word. And it's in me. And I got Jesus in me. And, and that's, that's, I'm living. I'm living through Jesus. And he's living in me. And that's the way it is with you. And I'm trying to make him live just as long. So he, he's let me live this long so I can tell something. Because I probably wouldn't have been gone if I hadn't been doing this. Yeah. I give, I give my neighbors Bibles and they give them back to me. They don't, I don't know what's wrong with them. That's the way it is. But he was trying to teach me of another Gnostic gospel that he believed in. Apparently he don't believe nothing. Sad. A sad predicament we're in life of the world that we live in. Verse 18, chapter 3 says, in the book of John says, He that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds are what? They're evil. For every one that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. The Bible says to have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but will rather reprove them. And so you can't run with them. You can't, you can't hold hands with the devil and serve God. Amen. You're not going, and, and, and the one that has a different doctrine than you too, it's going to drag you down or it's going to interfere with you. Right. You better get with the right Amen. operation. Amen, Amen. If you don't, believe, you don't believe in sprinkling, infant baptism, uh, stay away from them. Just stay away from them people. Everybody ain't, everybody's not saved. There's a lot of people got religion. But everybody's not saved. I'm keeping on. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. After these things came Jesus and his disciples into the land of Judea. And there he tarried with them and baptized. And John also was baptizing in Anon near to Salem, because there was, not, because there was much water there, and they came and were baptized. For John was yet cast into prison. Then there arose a question between some of John's disciples and the Jews about purifying. And they came unto John and said unto him, Rabbi, he that was with thee beyond Jordan, to whom thou bearest witness, behold, the same baptizest, and all men come to him. John, this is what John the Baptist said. This is a biggie. It ain't even red. I'd put it in blue if it had been me. It says, John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. <laughs> now, ain't that a killer? That is just so wonderful, what John said. Except it be given him from heaven. Yeah. John knew his standing. He, he was a primitive type. You know, he was uh, locust and wild honey and, uh, and, and uh, animal fur. That's what he had. I mean, he, didn't, he wasn't a big shot. But he said everything comes from heaven. Everything comes from heaven. Yeah. And that's where it comes from. It's a supernatural work of grace. For by grace are you saved through faith. Right. That, and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God. Not of works, works, lest any man should boast. So it comes from heaven. It's all supernatural. It's not of works. It says not of works of righteousness, which we have done, but it's according to his mercy he saved us. By the washing of the water and the and the regeneration of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you all for listening to me. I know it's a lot of stuff, but uh, I, next time I'll, I'll be better. I'm going to get better. Because it is. It's, it's good. Uh, Peter said to grow in grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's I've tried to do that. But, but it got in me when I started this book. When I got in this book and I found out he was the word, yeah. God was the word, and this was him. Yeah. To, and it, I, really, I really believed it. Because yeah. yeah, it is. <laughs> That's the reason. The reason it is, it is God. This is God. So uh, let me pray and dismiss. And thank you, Jesus, for being with me today. Lord, thank you for making this uh, much easier than it could have been. Thank you for uh, keeping my cool. <laughs> I love you, Lord. I love these people that's come here, and I pray, Lord, for all the re prayer requests that they've made known to you this evening. 
And I pray, Lord, that you'd answer them. I pray, Lord, for Brother Lawson and Miss Landa and their family. I pray that you would bless them in a great way. Help us, Jesus. And I pray, Lord, that you'd be, uh, be with us, Lord, and give us traveling mercies, Lord. Bring us back here Sunday, Sunday morning. Bless the uh, Sunday school hour, Lord. May you bring more people to hear the word, Lord, we need to hear. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word. Lord, help us to recognize that. And it's hearing the word. And I thank you in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Okay.